So this is my third solid video, which I'm going to be showing you. As for the starch solution, I still weigh 188 pounds. I'm learning how to maintain my body using different meals. I have found out that if I cheat, I can easily gain 10 pounds. But if I instantly go back on the starch solution, I can lose that 10 pounds within two, maybe three days. If I let it sit around and keep the 10 pounds, then I have to go through the enormous amount of time that I did before to lose the weight. But I got back to my 188 and I'm real happy about it. So what I'm going to show you today is a simple uh, pea salad where I picked up the romaine that was, was from my garden and I will also show you a segment where I cut the peas. And also what I'm going to add to it is my own curly kale, which I also grow in my garden. This is last year's curly kale. It's now double the size of what it was last year. And it, I'm hoping it has double the taste. Come and see how I put together the simple pea salad. Thanks a lot. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So now we have two different salads. And yes, Brussels sprout leaves or arugula leaves and their flowers do make a wonderful salad. But you know what makes it even better is brand new pea pods. And in, most of my pea pods got eaten up, but I have like about six or, or seven and they're producing. Then they're gonna produce a bounty crop like I did with the French green beans that I got last year. But they're gonna produce enough to put out a little bit of taste each for each of the salads. As you know from my garden frame, my salad frame, I have lots of salad to use up. So I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna bring the camera close so you can see the pea pods and I will be introducing the pea pods. So these are the pea pods and on this plant I have five of them. I'm going to choose the biggest ones so that we have more flowers to produce. We also have more fruit. So there's one there. There's about, as you can see, there's two more here. And these got, we got hit with 90 degree weather and we lost the flowers. I'm hoping they come back. There's no peas on these. But the, what they are doing is they're finding the, the netting and they're growing. So you're going to see as I cut I put the plastic there on the floor on the ground so that I can cut the pods off. So let's see how that gets go. There's one, two, three, four. Yeah, this one's too small. I do believe that's all there is on this plant. Over here, we have one here. Which fell in the greenery. And another one here. No matter trying to find it. Find way to cut it. And that one's there. And we have another one here. See it sticking out? And that's what we got so far. But you see, we have another flower right here. So that's good news. So, what you see right here is a, a salad. What happens when the seeds go, they go everywhere. I'm gonna just yank this out and I, I broke it off with a left one leaf. We're gonna eat this with our pea pods. All right, part of this it is a starch solution diet, so we always have to maintain our starch. So, what I did in prior a meal, I cut a potato. This is just a russet potato that's been cooked, microwaved in the oven for five minutes. These are just romaine lettuces. 
I'm gonna wash them first. Now in my garden, I don't use any pesticides. If the bugs eat it, well, that's it. I mean, I'm not happy with a lot of the bugs eating it, but that's the way it is. So what we're gonna do with these, we're gonna put it in here. Prior video. And then we're gonna cut it bite size. Now the peas, what I'd like to do is take the pod off, like this. And these are edible pods, and I just cut them. I'm not gonna cut them all, because this I, is, a, is a plant that my wife dearly loves. And I'm just gonna use a few for myself. So these will be for her. Important to share with your loved ones. Okay? I'm having a huge meal, so I'm going to have just this salad. This is a flower from a Brussels sprout. I'm gonna eat that now and take the little leaves off the top, basically stripping them off the stem, like so. And then I'm going to grab an onion top. This is an onion that was in my garden for over two years. That I just, I leave it for bug prevention but it's getting too large now and it needs to be used. You can see the bulb is gigantic. All right. And then what we're also going to do is we're gonna add our kale, last year's kale. And this is gonna add uh, some more additional nutrients to our salad. Don't throw your, away your stems, use your stems. What happened to that kale I just had? There it is. In your, in your soups. Nothing wrong with that. Do that on all your, your stems and just cut this down. Now I prefer dinosaur kale, but I haven't been able to find any dinosaur kale seeds, so I'm dealing with what I got. Okay, now this makes a nice little pretty salad that will go around the potato over here. So now we're gonna wash it. Now these were all washed prior to vi this video. As I get up early in the morning, water my vegetables and I take care of watering the leaves, especially the ones I know I'm going to harvest. I like a dry salad, meaning I don't want a lot of water in it. So next thing I do from here is I transfer the leaves around the potato. Now one of the things that I haven't been able to do on the starch solution is eat avocados. And so I was trying to do the maximum weight loss I could, so I haven't eaten an avocado. This will be my first avocado quarter in over six months. So just take, you could use a knife, I'm just using the scissors because they're already um, messed up from cutting the the plants and use your finger on the back end like so just put it on the top and like that we don't waste don't waste anything I usually scrape this off and sometimes it just goes in my mouth I don't know how that happens okay and we'll save this one for later tonight then I'm going to use it, uh, Walden's Farm Italian Dressing, calorie-free. It's sugar-free, fat-free, carbohydrate-free, gluten-free, cholesterol-free. What I don't like about it, it's got too many chemicals in it, but I'm gonna use up this container and I'm gonna learn to make it myself. I guess probably way too much sauce. Um, it's got 12 servings, no calorie, well, whatever. All right. So now I'm going to eat my peas. And what I taste mostly right now is the dressing because I put way too much on it. But I can also taste the avocados.
trying to find a pee. So here's a pea and a piece of kale. And these are edible pea pods, so I probably would have eaten anyway. And it makes another delicious salad that you can make easily for your starch solution. And if this was cut up, the potato, it would be a lot easier to eat. And then that also maintains my starch portion. So a lot of my meals, matter of fact, all my meals, even breakfast, I have a starch at every single meal. And my snacks usually are food. And I like to eat pears and apples, and I save my papayas and my mangoes for my breakfast. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll be seeing you soon as I cook more interesting, delicious, vegan, and starch solution meals in the weeks to come. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh, one quick thing, Linda is doing much better. She is able to um, manipulate the wheelchair a lot better. We just had a hospital visit and they were real happy with our progress. We just have to keep working at it. Bye-bye now. Look at this monster. This is basically just a garden onion. I left it in there for over a year. Wonderful. If you like what you see, subscribe. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.